Good morning, viewers of HTV. It's always a pleasure meeting you at this uh, time. Remember, the first part of this program uh, week uh, review will do a recap of the news that uh, ran uh, throughout the week. And in the second part of this program, uh, we are going to receive uh, a sports uh, journalist, uh, Romeo uh, Kenny, who with me is going to analyze the sport news uh, of this week. Uh, William uh, Tadum Tadum will uh, later join us uh, for his rubric entitled uh, The Chronicle. And the last but not the least, uh, we shall have the segment entitled uh, No Comments. Uh, meantime, don't go far. We shall be right back just after this pause. Let's open uh, this uh, new edition of your program uh, week uh, review with this uh, communique from the head of state. Uh, Cameroon's uh, president, uh, Paul Bia, has declared uh, the 21st of uh, June uh, National uh, Morning uh, Day to honor the 17 Cameroonian soldiers killed by the terror group uh, Boko Haram earlier in June in the far north uh, region of the country. To these effects, flags will be flown at flags. Uh, were flown uh, at half mass uh, throughout the country as well as uh, at Cameroonian uh, embassies um, and consular offices abroad. As a reminder, the soldiers were killed on the night of uh, June to the tent after a protracted uh, battle uh, with fighters of the terror in uh, Dhaka, a locality of uh, Cameroon's uh, far north uh, regions uh, of the country. Uh, Major souls are resting perfect peace. We continue still in this edition of your program uh, week uh, review. Uh, uh, today, the World uh, Day has been uh, celebrated uh, this uh, Friday, uh, 21st of June, in almost uh, all the countries of the world. Uh, the idea was uh, conceived uh, in the 1970s by the American uh, musician um, uh, Joel Cohen. It was uh, finally adopted by the France uh, uh, Ministry of Culture in 1982 due to the efforts of our Minister of Culture and the French composer. On this occasion, several activities have been organized by the Cameroonian artists in order to commemorate this World Day of Music. We continue still uh, talking, uh, going back uh, to uh, politics and talking about the uh, National Assembly that uh, opened uh, according to the document from the presidency, uh, which has since gone viral on social uh, media. The head of state has uh, consulted the president of the Senate and the prime minister on a possible extension of the mandates of uh, municipal councillors by two months. The extension will run up to February 2020 and uh, aimed at uh, harmonizing the organization of both the legislative and municipal uh, elections. Um, if extended, uh, this will be uh, the uh, second time after the mandate uh, of the elected uh, officials uh, was uh, extended for the first time uh, last year. If you're just joining us, you're watching your favorite program entitled uh, Week uh, Review, the 19th of June has been uh, celebrated uh, World uh, Sickle Cell Day um, in the entire world. Uh, world uh, Sickle Cell Day is a United uh, Nations uh, recognized day to raise uh, awareness of uh, sickle cell at a national and international level. Uh, on the 22nd of December 2008, the United Nations uh, General Assembly uh, adopted a resolution that uh, recognizes uh, sickle cell uh, diseases, uh, disease as a public health uh, problem and one of the world's uh, foremost uh, genetic uh, diseases. The resolution calls for members to raise awareness of uh, sickle cell. Ahead of this uh, celebration, the Gynecho Obstetric and Pediatric Hospital of Yaoundé held a conference uh, with uh, some uh, experts uh, who discuss uh, with the public uh, that actually are uh, answered uh, present uh, about uh, these uh, very uh, dangerous uh, illnesses. Uh, they also talk on how uh, parents uh, as well as couples can uh, do in order to uh, avoid uh, uh, their children from suffering uh, from this uh, disease. Uh, still in relations uh, will uh, hurt. Uh, 
The Minister of uh, Public Health, Manu Adar Malashi, chaired uh, this Monday a constitutional uh, meeting with the head of uh, staff on the dynamic of uh, sustainable uh, improvement on the quality of health uh, care delivery in Cameroon. The meeting uh, which uh, took uh, place uh, at the Yawunde Monfebe Hotel uh, focuses on uh, how uh, to satisfy patients um, and also how to improve on the working uh, conditions and the security of uh, these uh, health uh, personnel. So the Minister of uh, Public Health uh, called upon the personnel to equally uh, be more uh, conscious. Uh, so in uh, this um, week, this uh, news of the week, the first session of the National uh, Committee of the project uh, known as uh, Resilac uh, has been held uh, this uh, week. Uh, this uh, come together aims at uh, elaborating the activities uh, that will be carried out uh, this year and equally to check the level of advancement of the project uh, done so far on the fuel. Uh, the main objectives of uh, Resilac is to help build uh, African countries um, that are affected uh, by uh, natural uh, disasters um, and social political uh, crisis. Um, Cameroon alongside uh, Nigeria, Chad and uh, Niger are concerned um, in this uh, project. Uh, one of the members of the uh, committee uh, took out time uh, on that day to clearly explain uh, the significance of this uh, project. Let's have a view. Launching the, the steering committee today, and with the launching of the steering, the, the steering committee, we have now to go through operational and strategic aspects, which will enable us more to target all the matters that we face on the field. After what we have to make a sort of evaluation in order to see what has been done so far and what, how we must go through that in order to, to perform. In line uh, with the celebration of the Olympic uh, Day, observed uh, every uh, 23rd of uh, June, the Cameroon uh, National uh, Olympic and Sport uh, Committee uh, is uh, organizing a one-week uh, activity program uh, which uh, began this uh, Monday. Activities such as the exhibition of the Olympic uh, memory of Cameroon uh, was carried out uh, from uh, Monday to uh, Saturday to end uh, this uh, week's uh, activities on the 23rd of uh, June, uh, date uh, which marks the end of the Olympic Games, uh, a 10 race uh, for peace and uh, concord uh, will be organized uh, in the 10 uh, regions uh, of the country, thereby uh, calling on uh, Cameroonians uh, to celebrate uh, Olympism uh, and equally uh, to celebrate uh, peace and uh, concord, uh, to celebrate actually uh, life. Um, that is all about uh, the Olympic uh, week. Uh, on the occasion uh, of the 19th uh, edition of the World uh, Refugees uh, Day, an official uh, ceremony has been uh, held uh, this uh, Thursday, uh, 20th of uh, June 2019, uh, present at this uh, ceremony. Uh, members of the government, ambassadors and head of uh, international organizations uh, and the High uh, Commissioner for Refugees uh, in uh, Cameroon uh, during uh, this ceremony. It has been noted that one million uh, 305,000 uh, refugees uh, reside uh, in uh, Cameroon. Uh, these uh, refugees uh, have uh, submitted their plight uh, to the government. This plight uh, concerns their education, uh, health, and uh, professional uh, insertion, uh, which uh, they plead on the government to uh, take uh, them in uh, charge. Uh, the representative of the High uh, Commissioner for Refugees uh, in uh, Cameroon uh, was speaking uh, to the press on the occasion of this day, let's have a view of his extracts. Together with other people, no one can tell that she is a refugee. She attended the same school, she attended the same health uh, centers. Um, that's what we want. We want the refugees to enjoy the same facilities alongside their brothers and sisters from Cameroon. That's exactly what we want really to achieve. And we say in French, avançons ensemble. Meaning that um, um, everything that we do in this country will benefit national and refugees alike. We still don't want to see some people left at the margin of society. 
In this uh, week uh, magazine, uh, we decided to lay uh, our focus on the uh, main uh, season that uh, actually has started already here in uh, Cameroon uh, and in uh, most uh, neighborhood of the capital. Actually, uh, the presence of uh, fresh uh, corn uh, is being uh, seen uh, everywhere. The season of fresh corn has made it uh, to become uh, cheaper as compared to the past uh, month. Also, we note that this uh, corn uh, is being uh, consumed uh, differently uh, uh, depending on the choice of the uh, consumer. Let's have a view of this ice shot. And I also prefer coffee corn made from milk. <laughs> I prefer it with coffee corn made from milk. I prefer it because when I eat corn, I feel, when I eat food made from food corn, I feel more satisfied. And the coffee corn made from the corn is so delicious and that's why Here we are in sports. Uh, Cameroon's indomitable uh, Lionesses uh, have uh, qualified uh, for the round-up of uh, 16 uh, of the uh, ongoing uh, 2019 uh, FIFA World uh, Cup in France uh, after their Thursday 2-1 uh, uh, win um, against uh, New Zealand uh, in Group E uh, proved enough uh, to qualify them as one of the best uh, four third place uh, teams before uh, Thursday uh, matches. Uh, Nigeria, uh, four points. Uh, Argentina, equally uh, two points. Uh, Cameroon, uh, zero points. Uh, New Zealand, uh, uh, zero points. Uh, were in the running for the uh, two remaining uh, tickets among the best uh, four uh, third uh, place teams. Uh, Brazil with uh, six points in Group uh, C. And uh, China with uh, four points uh, were the first uh, two teams uh, to advance uh, in uh, the next uh, round. Uh, congratulations to the Lioness Hill. And we'll still have this note in sports. Cameroon announced on a Tuesday their new kit for the 2019 African Cup of Nations in Egypt. That kick that is going to kick up this Friday in Egypt. The team will use the green kit while their yellow kit will be used for away games. Afghan draw puts Cameroon in a uh, group F alongside uh, Ghana, Benin, and uh, Guinea Bissau, and they will uh, open uh, their participation uh, in the competitions against uh, Guinea Bissau on uh, June uh, 25th. Uh, Cameroon, uh, the defending uh, champions, uh, hope uh, to achieve uh, defending uh, champions, uh, hope to achieve their seat title in the competition uh, and uh, close the gap uh, with uh, Egypt, uh, who won uh, the seven uh, titles. The tournaments uh, take place uh, with the participation of uh, uh, 24 uh, teams uh, in uh, Group 6 uh, um, for the first time uh, in the history of the African Cup of Nations. Uh, we should uh, equally note that the Lions, uh, the indomitable uh, Lions, uh, are going uh, to leave uh, the country uh, on uh, Friday uh, for the competitions uh, that is actually going to kick off on the same uh, day. Uh, we remain in sport, uh, but this time around uh, the Cameroon. Cameroonian uh, footballer Christian uh, Basogok uh, proceeded this uh, Wednesday, uh, 19th of June, uh, in the handing uh, over of uh, gifts, uh, notably an envelope of uh, 20 million uh, francs CFA to the students of uh, Lycée Professionnel et Agricole de Yabassi. The donation uh, ceremony uh, took place at uh, Hilton uh, Hotel in the presence of the Minister of uh, Secondary uh, Education, uh, Nalova uh, Lyonga. Moreover, students of the above mentioned school equally took part in this ceremony. It should uh, equally uh, be noted that uh, the students uh, highly appreciated uh, this uh, donation of the Cameroonian uh, footballer uh, Christian uh, Basogok. Uh, and this time around, we talk about a press uh, conference uh, has been held by the International uh, Tournament of uh, Youth uh, Football uh, Semans uh, ahead of the upcoming uh, competition uh, from the 15th to the 20th of uh, July. Uh, the 16th edition of this uh, tournament uh, with uh, both um, national uh, international uh, clubs. Uh, let's have a listen of the director of uh, this uh, football uh, semans uh, club. Hope to see uh, uh, a football without any problem. I, I want to see a football, a youth football played with youth. 
I want to see, I want to give a chance to any young player. No, those things are very interesting to our tournament because uh, they hear about it. We are sorry uh, for that uh, extract, uh, surely we are going to uh, come back uh, to that uh, still uh, in this uh, uh, steam uh, edition uh, for this uh, edition. The player will uh, be classified uh, in uh, two pools among which uh, we are going to have the senior and uh, equally uh, the junior uh, pool in order to raise and uh, encourage uh, this uh, uh, idea. Both uh, material and financial actually uh, uh, donations uh, were done by some associations that have a view of this extract. Sports is a very uh, important part of uh, our uh, cultural uh, activity and uh, within uh, uh, the political dimension in Cameroon we have our, our cultural patrimony which has to be developed and we, we think uh, uh, sport is part of this activity. Uh, it, is w it is why we have decided to uh, work along with Semence uh, Olympic because actually we are about uh, uh, to build a museum for the, our indomitable lions in Otele, not far for, from the capital, uh, in about uh, 50 kilometers. And this museum will be de dedicated to uh, the activities of the Indomitable Lions for the, the memory, for all what uh, Indomitable Lions have done for us. According to, to us, it is now time for us to do something for the Indomitable We are actually uh, sorry for that uh, other element. Uh, surely uh, our technicians shall uh, see that uh, off. But uh, uh, in addition uh, to that news, we should actually note that among the clubs uh, participating in the competition, uh, we have uh, Real Foot, uh, Douala, Corinthians, uh, Brazil, uh, uh, just to name a few. Uh, and equally, uh, both the national and international teams are going to be represented di during uh, this uh, tournament. Uh, here we are in the second part of this program known as the guests uh, but uh, before then let's have this transition We finally landed in the second part of our program entitled uh, The Guest. If you're just joining us, uh, just know you're watching your favorite uh, program entitled uh, Week Review. Remember, the first part of this program has done a recap uh, of the news that uh, ran uh, throughout the week. Uh, in the second part, we are going to analyze the uh, spot news of this uh, week, uh, which I think was very interesting, Romeo. Uh, good morning, first of all, Emeda. Yes, very, very interesting because... <laughs> your sport journalist, is important to note that uh, to the public for sure we uh, sport journalists we struggle to in our own way to see how we can update the public on what is happening in the world of sport given the fact that for now we have the world cup that is ongoing in france we've got to the african cup of nations that begins today in cairo egypt and it's going to be a very very interesting uh, football uh, fiesta because you understand that the african cup of nation is the most watched in africa and uh, of recent is also beginning to gain a lot of uh, popularity yes. uh, given that the the whole world now people have got a lot of interest when we talk of the african cup of nations 
Well, uh, thanks for actually uh, unfolding my agenda of uh, today. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're going to talk about. You're very right. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about the female World Cup. We're going to actually talk about the AFCON that starts today. And we're actually going to talk about the Cameroon's uh, uh, Federation. That is a different uh, federation. Um, they are fastening up in order to uh, come up with a different uh, result uh, very fast. But uh, first, I would like us to start with the female uh, World uh, Cup. Uh, surely you watched uh, yesterday's match against uh, New Zealand. It was very interesting. Uh, that is uh, for me. So what about you? Yeah, for sure. Uh, like any other right-thinking Cameroonian, yes. uh, a sport fan too, uh, I can say the encounter was very, very important for us. Uh, given the fact that Imeda, let me tell you here that uh, that was a competition, especially yes. the game. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of a game where there was a lot of probabilities in it. Uh, yes. because Given the fact that Cameroon was standing in a position where uh, they needed to uh, win first of all yes. and now also count vis-a-vis uh, -vis the result of their uh, the last immediate, performance yes their last performance and even their immediate followers given the fact that you know we, we were playing a competition uh, a game where uh, New Zealand yes also needed a win and uh, we also saw a team like Chile like that needed Chile? a win to and a win. A, yes a, a heavy win to uh, over uh, the arrivals Thailand so there were two places left <laughs> so it was really it was really tense uh, and i think in the last minute uh, we all jubilated because i for one i wasn't expecting that goal yeah uh, you know uh the the, the the goal of yesterday stems too from the way the teams uh the the, the, the the lineup too was put up today because you when you look at the lineup we're playing more of an offensive one when you see a a, a lineup of a five four one uh, that gives us the impression that the the, the coach already knew that we were supposed to follow our defense avoid yes. more of conserving more goals and go more into an attack line and when you see uh the the, the game of yesterday you understand that uh coach alain john uh knew that there was apparently nothing left again for that competition nothing left for that competition yeah. because the way he jumped out of joy <laughs> i was like wow <laughs> now uh, uh that when you look at it again you, you you see that morally the player knew the players themselves they knew that they had something to give into that competition yeah. uh look at a player like uh, Njoya Hajara who netted uh, two goals yesterday that's yes. earning her a brace so far in this competition this competition yes she when well, you follow her interview she 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 talks of uh they had no other choice again and that was the right choice for them to make and um it is true. At one point, we had the feelings that it was better for us to sacrifice another African team. African team. Another team. Yeah, especially in Nigeria, because you understand that um, the first two places already were taken. Were taken yes, already. By uh, Brazil and China. Brazil and China. Yes. Yeah. And now we had Nigeria that was at the third spot, oh, Cameroon at the fourth spot, the fourth but spot. still contemplating who. Uh, was already uh, you know to to really uh, uh, confirm that third position because we understand that uh, until yesterday yes there was a disciplinary uh, kind of um, play to between Cameroon and, between Nigeria. Cameroon and Nigeria because Nigeria. bear with you that uh, yesterday Cameroon uh, with the yellow card was given to Alexandre Takunda yeah. Cameroon moved up to six yellow cards in that competition already while Nigeria was standing at five yellow cards and, and, and a red card and we know that in the game of football two yellow cards warrant uh, a red card so Nigeria already was at seven cards in that competition, in that competition. Cameroon was at six and with a win that tells us that Cameroon was having three points minus two. Yeah. Yes. And Nigeria too had three points minus two. That's in terms of goal differentials. Now, what was supposed to lead Cameroon above uh, Nigeria was in terms of discipline. In terms of discipline. Discipline. Yes. So yes. let's be. Let, it's good for us to tell our public because um, many of them will ask that. But why is it that we were at the same spot with Nigeria? We had the same number we of points. Had the points. same number of points they were choosing. For sure, we, we, we were. You know, we were chosen to be the third. To be the third. Yeah, yeah. To be the third because of the disciplinary aspect of the competition. Nigeria simply had more cuts than we do because they had a. a, a a red card and it's good to even know that uh, so far in the competition after the first phase of it we have had we have recorded just two red cards so far and wow. one is uh, one was granted to nigeria the other one to south africa so uh, 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 uh when you you look at it again you see that yesterday's uh, confrontation like yes. uh, I, I was mentioning uh, chile for chile to say true they needed to beat thailand at least 
three goals to nothing without cons- yeah nothing. without considering a goal and if they had done that then nigeria would have been the the sole doctor well romeo i'm going to confess to you not only to you but actually to those uh, viewing us right <laughs> now now i would say the first match uh, cameroon's the indomitable lioness is played i was like so afraid because uh, looking at the score i was like wow are we going to make it uh, the next uh, uh, the, the next uh, player, the match that they had to against do thailand the, yes uh, with, netherlands? with netherlands i was yes. like Gosh, are we going to win? <laughs> or it was better for our girls who uh, stayed back. Uh, and in the third match of uh, yesterday, the one with uh, New Zealand, I was uh, so impressed. Why was that impressed uh, with the courage those girls uh, had? Because at the uh, at, at at one point of the match, uh, it was like everything was gone, no hope. Uh, like uh, what happened uh, for the uh, Afghan uh, that was played uh, in the last uh, edition? What I have to ask now is, uh, what do you think? Do you think uh, the population? Do you think a uh, camera? Iranians can still uh, count on uh, the Leonesses as they have gone for the 16th round. Can we still put our trust? Because I would say my heart was almost on my hands. Thank God that you know, uh, even <laughs> that, that uh, collapse. In the last uh, World Cup that was in 2015 in yes. Canada, uh, Cameroon was eliminated in the second round. Yeah. And it, what was very very important for the team yesterday was first of all to meet up the target of last uh, edi- edition which has already been done yeah. uh, now uh, we are going to face england we're in, going to face in in england in our next uh, game that's on sunday yes. and we do understand that england has not been a no-nonsense uh, they have been on a no-nonsense Surely. team in that competition so far but now I think the the solo assignment that was left for Coach Allen John Fark yes. has already been done because when I talk of being done, it was meeting the target of the last edition. We do understand that uh, a lot of um, social media insults were being poured at him for the caliber of uh, play styles he put up, especially against uh, Canada in the first game where we lost one, one by one go to nothing. Yeah. The second game to uh, against uh, New De- uh, that's uh, Netherlands. Against yes. Yeah, Netherlands. Where, where we lost three goes to one three goes to uh, one. Uh, and uh, many were already skeptical that uh, against new zealand and it's good to to note here that uh, cameroon is participating in this competition like the third african uh, you know third, uh, we can talk of being winners of the third african team uh, you know for the third place because we do understand that in, uh, last year we participated at the alcon that was in ghana and we finished third and uh, that's where we grabbed the third ticket in front of mali and now new zealand uh, yesterday were first of all not just participating like uh, a mere team or maybe uh, under uh, lock like Cameroon because we I can say we our participation was on that lock because we had to fight against yeah. Mali before we grabbed the third uh, position Positions. for Africa but now uh, uh, New Zealand is they are uh, oceanic champions yeah that's to tell you that um, already we were playing against a champion that does not just part, that did not just participate in the competition like us but like us. came in like uh, well, a power, prepared. Uh, well, well prepared uh, uh, site yes. now uh, I would say that against England is not going to be an easy competition against uh, an easy game because um, when you look at uh, so the way England has played so far, uh, they've been able to finish with at least six points in that competition. That tells us already that uh, there is something we have to do. We have to adjust. We have to accelerate. Yeah, we have to accelerate, uh, like you say, and uh, that will only have to do with the attacking armada of players we have in. Because right now we have a Michaela and Bam that we can count on, though yeah. she's not been so prolific as many we're uh, expecting on her we have an uh, abudi ongene up front that can always Achara. yes that can always take maybe upon herself to create ch- a litany of goal chances yeah. we also have a player like Njoya Jut Hajara who was able to carry the nation on herself yesterday to you know to, grab us, to, her. to meet up the expectation and score the two goals that today Cameroonians are smiling and um, I think at the defense compartment too we need to work again because uh, when you look at the, the goal yesterday scored yes. by Owona uh, in her own goal post, I think there was a little bit of lack of communication between her and uh, Nen Gondom, the goalkeeper, and I think that's one of the aspects too we have to work on. We have to work y- out. Yes, we also have uh, Nyango who, who, who has not been so uh, so conspicuous. I mean, very visible at the uh, the midfield, and she has to give a lot uh, with uh, uh, Raiza Fuji because this time around we, we are going to play a team that is more of attacking than defense. That's uh, than, more competent. Than yes, more competent. They have got a lot of Palmares. No, in their skills, their Palmares. For sure, in the, in, in, the, in the competition. And uh, it is good for us to, to, to note here that um, 
England would like to to say true because you know uh, most of these African teams uh, we have uh, maybe uh, Cameroon and, uh, and Nigeria, Nigeria. we always feel contented that anytime uh, we say true you know, the second round okay that's where we, we are supposed to end no I think we should not end there because if uh, England is coming with one objective that of going as far as possible in this, competition, possible in this competition I think that is the same thing Cameroonians too we should be having it should boost us equally it should also boost <laughs> us the, the the morale you know you know Romeo, at one point of these competitions uh, we saw some uh, news going viral on social medias like uh, uh, these girls are not playing well they are not performing well why uh, because uh, their coach they think uh, Alain uh, Jemfa is not that competent enough uh, and they want back Carl and on get you <laughs> so yeah, what's yeah. the stand about that yes uh, my own stand there is that uh, it's rather unfortunate because uh, uh, coach Alain Jemfa we do understand what the assistant coach to uh, coach Brian, Brian Ndoko mm -hmm. yes, and Brian uh, Ndoko had to perform uh, the way he performed in, in 2018 coming yeah. out third uh, you know we understand that in 2016 we were vice African champions here in Cameroon Yaoundé uh, where we lost uh, the, the African Cup of Nations to yes. Nigeria by one go to nothing uh, now many were they were so expecting that we should perform more than that maybe why not become African champions going to Ghana which mm -hmm. was not the case but I think uh, the main objective after losing after losing uh, to, uh the, 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 that itinerary we had to conquer why not take a place for the this World Cup, which was done by coach brian doko and um at the dire minute of this competition uh at the dire minute of you know we can talk of the week of this World Cup, we had to surprisingly give a team that was already been maneuvered by a different coach yeah. to coach alain jonfa who was just an assistant coach and so i think uh, individually he has had a lot of difficulties managing this team because uh, at one point we we saw him put up a, a, a lineup that uh, Cameroon has never played for, especially the lineup against uh, Canada, where Canada. we had just a, a we had just one attacker who was supposed to do everything for us, which that was not the the normal four four three uh, lineup that we were used easy. to. Yeah, it, it was not that easy. So I think. Um, for now, I learned John Fark, we can say he has been able He's to... Doing his best. He has done his best. He has saved his image. But I think he can still do better than that because uh, uh, in a competition like this, you have got the time to watch the videos of other games. Yeah. You have got to the opportunity to study how your opponent plays by also watching and maybe do some online research and others maybe get in contact with some of the, some of the, uh, some of the, the persons that are closer coaches. to the team. Yes, to see what you can do, what can be done, uh, I beg your pardon, what you should do, what you should do in terms of uh, the disposition on the uh, on the field the tactical uh, disposition of players one other thing one other th one other thing that was uh, going uh, viral on social media is that uh, uh, the girls the leonesses were asking for their bonuses while uh, they aren't even able to play uh, they are asking for their bonuses <laughs> as the, the, the indomitable lions also is that a form of comparison uh, i That's think it, it's, n it's not a kind of comparison uh, it's true the, the girls were given 15 million yeah. uh, each uh, they were demanding more than that uh i think they were just being frank to themselves yeah. uh it's true uh one would have had that impression that maybe our ill uh, practice in this uh or ill performance in this uh, world cup is because uh we uh, they take the players <laughs> for the world ask for the before leaving for france uh, i i think um after watching them yesterday we we've really seen in them players who, determination who, yeah yeah we who are having the determination who have got the love for fatherland and the, the they have kept aside that notion of the match bonuses and they are beginning to show to us that actually they are there for the competition uh, i think it would have been worst for them if they were eliminated yesterday wow. and they get, yeah for sure because <laughs> surely i agree with <laughs> if, you if that if, maybe if they were eliminated yesterday and they came back telling us that uh it's because uh they they, they they had difficulties in playing then so, so all Cameroonians will tell them that let's cross our fingers for the match against canada for their next match against canada against england uh, england i would rather say let's yeah. cross our fingers yes okay. let, let, let's say let's we just want to say we we'll watch and see what will come let's out of that and, and i believe the the outcome uh, uh coach Alain Jonfa want to see is why not a good victory maybe so, make the history yeah let's let's uh, away from the female world cup let's talk about the uh, the afcon 
that is surely going to launch that's going to be launched uh, today uh, surely uh, the lions are going to leave the country today yes that's what all Cameroonians are expecting that they're actually the even expecting them to leave yesterday <laughs> but we it, don't know what happened it, it, it's true it's true we were expecting them to leave uh, yesterday yeah. uh, which was not done because uh, until last night they were still uh, disputing on their match bonuses, their match bonuses. bonuses they are asking same scenario <laughs> same scenario they are asking about 40 million francs each uh, for each of the players that's what uh, a sign communicated by all the 23 players stipulate they are asking for 40 million uh, 40 million francs each and um uh, they have been proposed uh they, they followed all they were proposed 15 million which was not uh they were not happy with they went up to 20 they are not still happy and now we are talking of 25 million francs each which they are not happy but now it is good to stipulate here that um when you read what the lions have signed like mm -hmm. a common uh, ultimatum is that uh, most of them say uh, why in Qatar their training was taken care, was of, taken by care the, of by the by the country where they the were country, yes, yes and their trip to to Cameroon was, was taken, taken care, care of by, by, the by the country uh, that's Qatar and uh, now it's even even said again in it that uh, even part of their trip to leading to Egypt where they are going to be defending the nation is still being taken care by by by, 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 by Qatar country, yeah. which is something that I, I believe is not good but now uh, this is a competition they are going to play for Cameroon they are going to play for a republic they are going to play for they're a state they are going to defend their seven the, the, title their the, 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 the fit title their fit continental fit yeah the, the fit Brother, yes yeah. and uh, it's good to note here that um it's good they they, they 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 come to a compromise because uh, according to the calf norms if they are not in cairo latest today then they should be disqualified from the competition wow. and which is something is there a, a limited time yes for sure for sure they, they, they if you're not there latest three days that three days before you 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 play because you, you're going to be disqualified and so if they're not yet today they're going to be uh, disqualified from yeah for sure they're from, not from, on there on friday they are not if they're not there today yes, i mean they have to friday. be for egypt today yeah. and make sure they reach there because uh the first the opening game cannot be going on and maybe it is over they play the second games and you you are not still there it's not going to be very very good for you for the the, the country concerned and uh i think something will be done so I, I for this uh, african cup of nations do you think the lions have uh, their chance knowing fully well the pool in which they are frowning <laughs> i think uh any nation that qualifies for an african core nation is up to the tax to to make it is up to the tax uh imeda i if i were to ask you when we were going to to, to gabon 2017 uh, you 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 among maybe among all the Cameroonians that could not believe that we going to come back with the with the with the trophy Surely. now yes so and now that we believe that they are going to come back with that trophy <laughs> yeah, you know the belief comes let's, on because let's hope it should not be the reverse because yeah. now we are waiting that trophy back here home. yeah even though you know the belief comes up now because uh we we were expecting them to do so in 2017 we saw yeah. them come back with the uh, trophy now uh, we are going to play in in a group where we have uh, first of all Ghana. Ghana we're going to have Guinea Bissau and we have now Benin and uh, these are among all these three uh, most uh, these four teams yeah there is I will tell you there is somebody there that uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that we have we are going in first of all is a it is kind of a challenge we are going to face first of all a, a, a team like ghana Gather. we remember that uh in 2008 in ghana when ghana hosted the competition cameroon eliminated ghana in the semi-finals in the semi -finals. before losing against uh, egypt in the finals, <laughs> in the finals now yeah. in 2017 that was in uh, gabon we yes. still eliminated again ghana at the semi-finals before we played against egypt this time around to to win so it's kind of a revenge <laughs> that the black stars of ghana are coming for they are uh, not coming in to joke eh? that we should first of all note yeah they are not coming in to joke and that that already speaks a lot that already so, speaks a lot so let's talk about the absence of uh, uh, players like abubakar vincent abubakar uh, uh, the scorer of the last uh, african uh, cup of nations what do you think about it's not going to destabilize either even the cameroonians or the players themselves uh, let me begin for a while with the team. Yes. We, we do understand that the absence of Vincent Bubaka is not yeah. just uh, uh, voluntarily. Uh, that's because of an injury. He was unable to, to pick up, to undergo convalescence and meet up with the date of mm -hmm. the African Cup of Nations and maybe even with some of the tournament, some of the games that will be taking uh, place in the tournament. So uh, I, I think uh, the absence of Vincent Bubaka now should be like... Uh, 
an assignment, an assignment to, to Eric Massim to promoting mm -hmm. up front. It should be an assignment to uh, Clinton Jair up front. It should be an assignment to the best player of the African Cup of Nation 2017. That's uh, Christian Basogok. Yes. It should be an assignment to. It should also be an assignment to Carl Toko. It can be uh, who also uh, in the past years have be, he has been struggling to 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 make you know that determining name to in the raise African. The image yeah, yes. of, uh, Cameroon. So, yeah. So I think it's going to uh, the absence to in one point is should be a moral booster to the players of yes, that. Yes, and to the they, Cameroonians. Yeah, to the Cameroonians that these other guys who have been caught up should be capable of playing. They should be capable of, uh, you know, saving the image because what yeah. I love so much about the absence of Abubakar is that <laughs> he was able to sympathize with the team. Wow. give his own support to the team tell them that Very okay, interesting. yes that so as let's round up uh, uh, with the cameroon's cup of nations we are in june 2019 and the championship list is already known something that has never happened uh, before what explain this uh, precipitation of things yes uh what precipitate what uh, explains this is the fact that we are supposed to follow the calf calendar and uh, normally from what calf stipulates now we're not yeah. going to cameroon is not going to be normally to we are not supposed to provide a championship winner or let me yes. talk of the 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 the, 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 the the winner of the Cameroon's Cup as we used to do in December because yes. we saw the example last year the winner was unable to, pre was unable to represent the country to represent in the, the continental country. scene and uh, uh, this year too is quite one thing I'm very impressed with this year Imeda I should tell you is that we are having two play two teams that I think it should be the first time they are meeting they are in meeting the final of the, the Cup finals. of Cameroon. We have ISFAP, the 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 the, 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 the team belonging to the Army and Police, mm -hmm. and then we also have uh, uh, Star now of uh, Melon. Those are teams that are going to be taking uh, pl uh, part in this uh, comp com com competition. Com this competition, this final, and so I think we are going to have a new you know a, a new final not a final where we were used to cotton sport of garua maybe we're used to canon sport so, so from what uh, what what do you wish uh, to the lions that are going to uh that are leaving today to start the competition yeah what i can wish them is for our good luck like any other cameroonian out there uh one thing to uh, tell them is that they should keep aside the notion of match bonuses if they have been you know soft today Good and fine. If they are not soft, let them take the one that is being given to them, the 25 million francs CFA that are proposed to them. Now let them go now and disprove those and who disprove. Are, are are not willing to maybe serve them the way they want by bringing back the trophy again. Why not for the sixth time? Because we understand Imeda that. that uh, <laughs> I'm uh, waiting for that trophy. Uh, uh, thank you, Romeo. Uh, thank you for yes. coming. It was our pleasure receiving you here on yeah. our program uh, week review. The pleasure was mine, and hoping that uh, what we've been able to give out there to the public was very enriching, and hoping that they do. In Enjoy the program. It is the end of our exchange uh, with uh, uh, Romeo uh, Kenny, but don't forget, uh, still in the second part of the program, uh, we are going to have uh, the rubric entitled uh, The Chronic. Uh, the Chronic uh, will, will be done uh, by uh, William uh, Tadum Tadum, and this time around is going to be on uh, music. Uh, remember, Friday uh, 21st is in uh, celebrated as a world uh, music uh, day. Before then, let's have this transition. Well, uh, we are here again and this time around uh, with uh, William uh, Tadum. Uh, Tadum. Uh, good morning, William. Good morning, madam. How do you do today? I'm very fine. I hope you too. So, Friday 21st has been uh, celebrated as well, uh, Music uh, Day. Uh, uh, what are we going to talk on our chronic today? Naturally, we are going to talk about music, but especially the music we deserve, because I really think that the music we deserve is still to come. Yeah. Music is one of the best way to learn and to appreciate. It is yes. now a science that has to be learned deeply to be very well master it has to be mastered precisely by those who consider themselves like or as artists if you practice music you must master your job like a driver master his driver wheel some folks say that they are artists just with the mouth that is what i have noticed because if you look nearly you can notice that so many of them have uh, no voice for that no understanding of reading, no um, knowledge of music theories, totally unable to understand the music universal language because 
music has a language and we talk about the universal language that is the reason why they cannot transmit anything really good any strong feeling to the listener that is what i have noticed it is now confirmed that it is dangerous to listen to those type of artists that is why most of our musicians are now considered considered as specialists of noise production obviously people appreciate because they are not really able to measure the level of self destruction music is made for people to sing their joys and their pain but what we observe is that today in cameroon the young generation of artists are specialists of sex promotion in the music the music is good for the garbage such type of music the texts don't really have sense we can just mention that they are very poor in values most of pretended artists are not real musicians and other thing is that the listener are not really i i about um, what they must consider as music was it good for themselves for the mind and for the for the soul they are very attracted by vibration than they are more attracted by vibration than by music art and creativity the listener have to uh, have their own responsibilities in mu music failure process in our country our music is like our football team unable to challenge internationally unable to challenge others at the international level at the international level unable to lead beyond africa sometime what we don't say is that our music is our heritage so let us do it with all the perfection that goes with our music is our heritage so uh, let's do it uh, with all the perfection uh, that uh, goes uh, with it uh, that was the chronic uh, that uh, was being done on uh, music uh, by uh, william tadum uh, tadum uh, william thank you <sighs> very delighted for doing it uh, don't go far much. right now we are going to have the last but not the least uh, segment entitled uh, no comments uh, in the no comments of today we are going to oppose uh, to uh, dancing styles just view <laughs> Oh, comment je devais danser, j'attends un appel de maman Joka et toi, tu viens pour taper les styles Va nous prendre la tête, hein Depuis, depuis, je te vois, on dirait que tu n'as pas l'air dans ton assiette, hein Papa, si ça ne va pas, tu peux toujours aller te coucher Parce que ici, c'est la fête et tout le monde a l'obligation de bouger Allez, allez, allez Allez, petit gamin And so these musical notes that we are uh, ending uh, this uh, program entitled uh, Week uh, Review. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, remember, the next uh, rendezvous uh, is taken for Saturday when it shall be exactly 10.30. Uh, we thank uh, each and everyone that uh, participated in this uh, program. Bye-bye.